8 Healthy Benefits of Indoor Plants According to horticulture experts, plants are kind of having a moment right now. Take one quick scroll through Instagram and you'll see beautiful interiors covered in leafy vines, hanging plants, spunky succulents, and trees that liven up every corner of a room. And there is a reason why everyone is so obsessed with greenery. Indoor plants improve your mental and physical well-being in ways you probably didn't even realize. Ever wonder why you feel like you can breathe easier, focus better, and simply be happier in a room full of nature? Well, turns out these perks have existed long before our seemingly newfound appreciation for lush spaces. Here, horticulture experts explain how houseplants improve our everyday lives, from boosting our environment to helping us heal faster. One, you'll breathe better air. Research shows that indoor plants help rid the air of common toxins and indoor pollutants such as formaldehyde and benzene. In fact, one study found that the bromeliad plant removed more than 80% of six volatile organic compounds out of eight studied in a 12-hour period. While the Dracaena plant removed 94% of acetone, the pungent compound in many nail polish removers. The air purification ability of plants depends on factors such as size of the plant, size of the indoor space, and amount of toxins in the air. But 6 to 8 medium to large plants throughout a large room should be enough to make a noticeable difference in the air quality, says Gary L. Altman, CRC, HTR. Associate Director of the Horticultural Therapy Program at Rutgers. To help plants perform their best, keep leaves clean and free of dust and periodically take them outdoors to receive natural sunlight so that they can recharge. 2. They make any room more comfortable. Not only do indoor plants add color and liveliness to your space, but they also change physical aspects of the environment in pleasant ways. Plants can be used to increase the relative humidity indoors, reduce noise, screen unattractive areas, and moderate room temperature by shading a bright, sunny window, says Altman. Before you fill a space with furniture and accessories, take some time to think about how you want to feel in that room and how plants might help you achieve that vibe. 3. Dot and even boost your mental well-being can also do wonders for your mental health. For instance, when 28 new plants were placed in common areas of the Heart and Lung Rehab Center in Norway, Patients reported a greater increase in well-being four weeks later compared to patients who didn't have greenery added. One study found, We evolved on Earth amongst the grasslands surrounded by trees and plants, says John Beard, HTR. Horticultural therapy instructor at the New York Botanical Garden and superintendent of horticulture at Willowwood Arboretum. It is no wonder they make us feel at home, for eons they have fed our bodies and our souls. 4. You'll feel a sense of accomplishment. Another study. When residents in an assisted living facility potted plants and learned how to care for them at home, their quality of life improved. Researchers say it could be due to a feeling of accomplishment or the companionship people felt with their plants. Some said they talked and sang to them. Anytime someone takes ownership in something by doing it themselves, they exude pride and accomplishment, says Gwen Fry, manager of horticulture therapy at NYU Longoni's Rusk Rehabilitation. In my experience, anyone who plants something will then take better care of it and nurture it. Being able to nurture is part of the human experience and brings joy. So go ahead and belt out Beyonce in your living room. On watering day, your fern won't judge. 5. They'll help you forget about stress. Is potting plants and actively maintaining them provide an opportunity to forget about troublesome, stressful things that may be going on in your life and focus on the here and now, says Altman. While this is helpful to us and our psychological well-being, the plant enjoys this care as well and grows better and is better equipped to provide the physical benefits. 
If you're new to gardening, Altman suggests starting with succulents if you have a room with a window that receives a lot of light or philodendrons for the average room with moderate light. If you aren't successful with a plant the first time and it dies, that's okay, just try again, he says. The best gardeners and horticulturalists learn from their mistakes and with every growing mistake made there is a lesson to be learned. Shop cute plant pots. 6. Your productivity may soar. A succulent sitting on your co-worker's desk could be giving her brain boost at work. Employee productivity increased by 15% after plants were introduced to a previously bare office in a study by the University of Exeter. Plants were once and still are essential to human survival, says Altman. Today, this innate connection to them can be observed by an overall reduction of stress and improvement of calmness and well-being, which in turn has effects on an individual's ability to be creative and focus on tasks. Case in point, college students who perform demanding cognitive tasks in an office with greenery had a longer attention span than those who were in an office without plants. According to a study published in the Journal of Environmental Psychology, 7. They help promote healing. Benefits of plants, healing Emilia M-A-N-E-V-S-K-A-G-E-T-T-Y images, our close relationship with plants also helps individuals to recover from illness or injury quicker, says Altman. By surrounding ourselves with plants we are able to create a sort of natural, living sanctuary in which we feel safe and protected. In fact, researchers at Kansas State University found that patients with plants in their rooms required less pain medication, had a lower blood pressure and heart rate, and felt less anxiety and fatigue when recovering from surgery than patients without greenery in their rooms. Some plants even provide physical healing benefits. For instance, aloe vera can be used to heal sunburn and other skin irritations. Shop Aloe Vera Plant 8. Plants can even enhance therapeutic care. Along those same lines, growing and caring for plants can play a role in a person's formal recovery process with a horticultural therapist. Horticulture therapy is the practice of using plants within a well-organized recovery and wellness treatment plan that involves professionals creating and setting measurable goals for the person on the receiving end of care to achieve, says Beer. The goals will eventually help the person overcome difficulties, problems, or obstacles identified by their treatment team. According to the American Horticultural Therapy Association, the modality can be used for psychological problems such as PTSD, physical issues like regaining lost skills, or even vocational struggles, problem solving, for instance. So the next time you complain about having to water your plants, think about all they're giving you in return. Let us also not forget that plants are a blessing from God. So we must care for and love. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the golden button. So you're always updated on my new videos to upload. The Lord bless us. Thank you for watching.